so welcome back on the second lecture so basically here uh, let us first revise what we have done so we started with uh, pattern recognition and intuition of what was pattern recognition and then we saw these this is the bayesian decision theory right so uh, let, let us now concentrate on these terms so please note that here this particular p is different from this p so wherever i have done a back like this this is a small p so this is a small p and these are capital p let me tell you what does this denote basically so small p's denote pdf that is probability dens uh, density function pdf probability dis uh, density function so this is continuous is what i want to say whereas these capital p's are basically discrete so this this capital p basically denotes pmf probability mass function let us see why this is the case so if if you consider this probability so this is what we termed as likelihood so if you see this probability here x can take any value any continuous value so basically here i had denoted x as the size of object so here you can see say the size is say this radius from the center so it can be zero uh, it can be one it can be 1.5 it can be root pi uh, root 2 root pi anything so it can be any real number from uh, say zero to infinity so hence here x is a continuous variable it will be continuous so this we we get this probability from the training data so what we do is we take the training data and we see what is the x for this what is the x for this so actually there are many different methods so we sort of get a distribution of this function how do we get that we are going to see in our future videos so we can make some assumptions and so on but it is important that this is continuous this is pdf density functions it is not a discrete function that is what i wanted to say prior you can see prior is a capital p so prior is discrete so because this is like what is the probability of a particular image being sunflower from these so this is say given set of images and what is the probability that uh, a image is sunflower so this is just uh, say i had given example say this is 100 images and these are 500 plus uh, 500 images of rose 100 images of sunflower so uh, probability of sunflower will be 100 upon 100 plus 500 that is 100 upon 600 1 by 6 and the probability of this rose will be 5 by 6 so you can see it is discrete it is the variable random variable is taking values just 5 by 6 and 1 by 6 in this case so hence this is discrete similarly over here the probability of sunflower given a value uh, of x so given certain distance of x uh, sorry certain size of x what is the probability that it is sunflower so this is also discrete because say this is this is coming to be say 0.3 suppose so probability of sunflower probability of sunflower given that some distance is say 2 so say my distance is 2 so it is less probable to be a sunflower but it is more probable to be say a rose so if this is 0.3 this has to be 0.7 because i am considering only two uh, outputs over here i will get either this or this which makes it discrete so this is a pmf basically this is also a pmf so the posteriories are pmfs mass functions the likelihood is uh, pdf density function probability density continuous function priors are mass function again and this p of x that is our evidence is again a continuous function a density function because p of x is just the addition of two so since here this is uh, what we say continuous so continuous this particular continuous thing into something so this will have this can take continuous values this is discrete but then multiplication becomes continuous so addition of two such of things will again give you a continuous density so that is the key 
so please uh, note this uh, notation that this is small p for uh, pdf and capital p for pmf so with this let us move ahead so after calculating these probabilities probability of sunflower probability of rose given x now let us calculate what decision rule we should put so that we get our answer so now we have these two probabilities probability of sunflower probability of rose given a particular x so basically i have an image and i have been given uh, from the image i can take extract the feature so i can get any value of x any value of x i can get and i can calculate the probability of rose or sunflower so that will be here so now an obvious thing is that if the probability of say sunflower is greater than probability of rose then you have to uh, tell that it is a sunflower so the image given image is a sunflower that is the decision that you make because the probability of sun being sunflower with this particular length is higher so then we say that it is sunflower similarly if the probability of uh, rose is higher for that particular rent say omega 2 we have denoted uh, omega 1 as sunflower and omega 2 as rose over here so if omega 2 that is probability of rose is higher than probability of sunflower then we tell that the given image is of rose so this is our decision rule that we are going to follow now it is always possible that uh, there can be some error so basically if you consider say this this situation there there can be small sunflowers also it is not that sunflowers are always big so if suppose there is a small sunflower like this and there is a uh, so let us first con concentrate on sunflower so if there is a small sunflower like this so it is possible that this length is 2 but uh, in reality say sunflowers are normally not having the length say 2 this radius say it does not have 2 so it is less probable but it is more probable to say have a rose with length say 2 so basically uh, there are these few exceptional cases where we can get an error so here we can see that it is a sunflower but because the probability of uh, this particular length x is equal to 2 for sunflower is less than that of rose it will detect it as rose so at that point we will say that it is an error so what is an error an error is when you uh, decide a wrong thing when your decision rule is fulfilled but that gives you a wrong a wrong thing so basically what is error so p of error given some value of x say 2 in this case so given some length is 2 uh, it is p of omega 1 given x so basically say omega 1 is sunflower so probability of sunflower given x if omega 2 is detected so this means if suppose we detected rows so say this is the image this is the actual image and uh, using this algorithm using these probabilities and all the computer detected this as rose so this was actually sunflower we can see that it is sunflower but then the computer detected it as rose so this is a wrong decision so then that wrong decision is termed as error and then what will we define the error so the probability of error will be what is the actual probability of uh, sunflower so for this image say we will get two probabilities probability of omega 1 given x that is probability of sunflower and probability of omega 2 given x that is probability of rose and we saw that this probability turns out to be higher because uh, length of 2 is more probable for rose not for sunflower so this terms uh, comes out to be higher than this and hence we get an error so how can we define this error so this error is defined by the this probability so this is what we actually wanted but we got this this higher so this is what we wanted so this becomes our error so here you can see this is the error if the other thing is decided so if omega 2 is detected then this is the error 
omega 1 probability of omega 1 is there and vice versa if suppose omega 1 is detected then omega 2 is the error so you can see if suppose omega 2 is detected that means that probability of omega 2 became greater than omega 1 hence uh, using our decision rule we detected omega 2 so what what will be the error error is the minimum of the two so the maximum is the decision but if it is a wrong decision then the minimum will be the error so hence we define error as minimum of both the probabilities over here so that was about error so now uh, what can we do to improve this error so here uh, we saw that now the, this is a real case now that, that it is very highly possible that uh, you get a small sunflower. So how can we uh, increase the accuracy or decrease the error? So to improve this we can consider say two features. So now I am taking two features out of I am extracting two features out of the image. So what are the two features say let x1 be my size and say x2 be my say luminance so luminance will be say basically uh, an average of all the pixel values inside this uh, object so for sunflower it is basically light color a yellow color sunflower or something like that so uh, we will we'll deal with grayscale images now so let us consider that this is the grayscale so we, ca we can see that sunflowers are normally light in color so it will have a low luminance and rows are dark in color so they will have a high luminance so now what we are doing is we are taking two features earlier we are we used to take only one feature now we are taking two features so now i get a feature vector so now x is not just a number not just a scalar but a vector with two values where x1 is denoting size and x2 is denoting our luminance so you can take n numbers of features like this so you will get an n dimension vector so this is a new thing that we uh, saw here that you can have x as a vector now so now what is happening when we will calculate the probabilities we will see that uh, say uh, i have trained my data so during the training phase now all this x is basically a vector it is it is two uh, elements so in the training data say I have these uh, uh, many images of sunflowers so in the training data I will see that this is a sunflower okay what it what is its uh, say uh, length oh and what is its luminance that I will see so for say 1000 2000 such images I will see what is the length and uh, the luminance and then uh, find a distribution function for this or density function for this so we will find a density function again using uh, the training data from here but now for two vectors so initially we were just interested in one vector that is the size now we will use we will see what is the size we will also see what is the luminance so we are taking two bit of information uh, two informations now so like this we will form this density function the prior is going to be the same there will be no change in the prior and uh, so now this probability will be better because now uh, say i have been given with this sunflower a smaller sunflower so because there are two probabilities now so it is it is seeing so say uh, i have done with the training i have this density function i have the priors and I have PF, P of X I have. So if this if you ignore also it does not make any uh, change. So here if I now in the test phase I have I've been given with an image of a sunflower. So I will first detect its length. So I saw that length is 2 which is less probable for sunflower. But then I also see the luminance over here. So the luminance is quite light. So uh, by this I can say huh because the luminance is light it should be more probable of being a sunflower than being a rose the luminance of rose is mostly dark so that is what we are doing so here the probability improves because we are giving more information we are giving uh, size as well as this so that is an important thing that we see over here so now 
uh, you can do this and now the error will be reduced okay so in the next video we will see how can we uh, implement this for say more than uh, two classes so now we have just uh, seen for two classes that is sunflower and rose in the next video we will see what will happen if i introduce three flowers so now i will have three classes uh, flower uh, there is some flower some random flower there is sunflower and rose and we'll see how can the algorithm work with this kind of data thank you so much for watching my video stay tuned for my further videos